One of my favorite things in the world is learning a new language because you get to unlock a layer of yourself that you didn't even know existed. And the best part, you get to use that new layer with new people you wouldn't have met if you didn't learn the language. And you know what's even better? You can do it without even leaving your house. I didn't think it could be done. Pastel Wati, ahlan wasahlan biku. Ana Joana, ana min Brazil, ana Amerikaya we Brasileya. Bas ana sakna fi Connecticut del Wati. Ana badat atale marabi min shahrin da mustahil awi. بغار بات كالي مارابي راهم اني مش في مصر لو كنت هنيك اسهل بس بغار كده كده بغار بجد بغار so it's been a crazy process i'm going to break down the process of how i've gotten شويه عربي in my brain because it's actually been one of the most exciting things i'm such a language nerd i love it yellow bina kill the intro sis you know she's not your average show not your This isn't my first time learning a language. Eu sou brasileira, então eu falo português. Mãe, você colocou perfume para filmar? Ah, claro, tem que sair na câmera geral. Opa. Okay. <laughs> Then I learned English as a second language. Et puis j'ai commencé à parler français à l'école. Oh, tu sais que la France, il fallait que je passe devant trois ans de français en cherchant le meilleur. Et donc, j'ai commencé à parler italien parce que j'aime bien l'Italie. Pour cela, j'ai besoin d'un aperitivo. Per questo che mi piace tantissimo l'Italia. Aperitivo. E dopo ho iniziato a parlare spagnolo. Hola chicos, come stanno? Oggi sto in la città di Mexico, formerly known as DF, Distrito Federal, ma è now just la città di Mexico, o like CDMX. Che mi lao Elenica a little bit. Ma seno Elenica with you. Policana, policana, ya ti ta Sì, sì, I know, ne, ne, ne. Parla italiano? Sì, parlo italiano, cazzo. Italiano è più facile per me. Bene, ragazza. Bus, this is the first language that I'm learning where I'm not in the country. I can't go to the country and I still found this fire to get up every single day and study Arabic because I wanted to. Now, Arabic is not your average language, no. This is a complex, beautiful, ancient language that I feel like everybody should take some time to just get to know more about. I didn't know enough about it, so let me start at the beginning. There's modern standard Arabic, which is more written or it's what the newscasters use. And my teacher told me quickly that it's cartoonish, so nobody actually speaks that, but there's so many countries that speak Arabic in their own dialects that they needed a converter. So anybody that you know that speaks Arabic, give them a high five because by default, they have to speak at least two languages. Obviously, I'm only learning the Egyptian dialect, aka Masri. And why did I pick the Egyptian dialect? Because my best friend, Sahabeti Elantim, Onea, Heya Masreya, we Osretha Masreya. And I've gone to visit Osretha in Iskandreya, and I could not speak to them in the way that I wanted to. Min Saba Senin, it's been seven years. <laughs> So all of that Arabic that I learned in my 10 day trip to Iskandreya and Cajera went out the window. And I was determined to learn Arabic in my lifetime because I knew I could do it. It's like that nagging thing that's like, oh, one day I'm gonna do this. And I'm like, okay, it's been seven years. Today is that day, let's do it, yalla. Today is day one. So this is my current level of Arabic, of Egyptian Arabic. Ahlan Habibi, Kifek, or I guess that's Palestinian. Inti Ama'i, Anaba Habik Awi, Yala Nagawas. And that's basically it. So this is the only book that I have of Arabic phrases for dummies, I guess. In the meantime, all I have is my language journal. So one thing that I always do is pick a designated journal, like a little notebook. And the whole point is when you finish cover to cover, you get a grip on the language. So if you're starting out learning a new language, maybe it's smart to invest in like a cute little journal. Desperate times call for desperate measures. We're not out here traveling like we used to be. But to me, learning a language is my lifestyle. It's not gonna stop just because I can't get on a plane. So I've created my own syllabus for learning the language and I'm gonna see, am I actually going to learn the language without even being in the place? First day of school. 
I actually never liked school, but I think school is gonna be way better now that I'm creating my own schoolwork. Overachiever! I haven't woken up and committed to learning something since I was in Athens like two years ago taking Greek classes, which is such a shame because I know that my brain has potential and I've been sabotaging myself and that's why this morning I woke up and I'm like, we about to stop this self-sabotaging. I love telling stories, I love having conversations and if I can do those in different languages, even better. Tant mieux. See, like that's an expression that came to me in French. So if you're a hardcore grammar stickler, this is not the style of learning for you. But if you wanna pull up to a new country and have a conversation and make some new friends that become lifelong connections, this is the kind of method for you. Languages were also way easier to maintain before when I could actually travel. I used to go abroad all the time and so there was always this hesitation in my mind that if I couldn't travel, why bother? And then I'm like, that's an excuse, Joanna Franco. Like, stop that right now. First things first though, I knew I needed a local speaker. So I went on italki.com. No, this is not sponsored, but it should be. I do have an affiliate link down below. With italki, there are a bunch of different teachers. They have reviews, they have ratings, and they have videos. And I'm what I like to call a vibe consultant. I read people's energies. I'm like, kind of like hippy dippy in that way. And when I found this guy's video, I just, I liked his vibe. He had great reviews, but mostly it was the vibe. And before people say these are expensive apps, these are expensive lessons, I actually think you should spend money to learn because this is an investment. When you invest in something, when you pay for the app, when you pay for the lessons, you show up. Whereas if you get a free app, you probably stopped on day two because there's nothing holding you there. I'm so cheap too that I'm like, okay, if I'm paying for this, I'm gonna do it every day. You're investing in your future and you're investing in future relationships that could change your life. If you want $10 for your first italki credit, click in the link below. It's crazy to think that after these lessons I will actually speak Arabic. Ahlan! Ahlan wa sahlan! How are you? Ana kwais, inti amla e? Ana kwais? Ana kwais! Oh my god, it's beginning! How are you? I'm good, Ana kwaisa. Alhamdulillah, inti fin. What is fin? Fin is where? Fin. Uh, how do you say I am? Ana. Ana. We do not have am. There is no reference for a verb to be in Arabic, so Ana means I am. Ana. Okay. Ana fin. Ana fi. Ana fi. Connecticut. America. America. I'm so excited! <laughs> When you're picking a teacher, this is somebody that you're gonna have to see all the time. And for me, what's more important is that I walk away with a friend that I'm enjoying speaking to, as opposed to somebody that's gonna give me everything. Lucky for me, Ahmed gave me everything. He became a good friend and this man is so smart. And then what's even crazier is that he used to watch my YouTube videos back in the day. I love your YouTube uh, channel, by the way. That's wow, you watch the videos? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're gonna be on video, look. Oh! <laughs> Say hi! Day one of class, the first thing that I asked, and this is something I do in every language, is How do you say, how do you say? Zay to ul? Zay to ul, how are you? Zayek, Zayek. Okay, so Izayek. That's amazing. Perfect. Izayek. And then I found out it was Izay to ul for a guy. Right off the bat, I'm learning the language. This is how I start crafting the list of vocab words that I personally use. A lot of people like to look up pre-made lists, but I really, I wanna translate my personality in that language so that I can get a grip. Because my personality is naturally curious. So if I can get the tools to be curious in another language, then I'll develop my personality even further in the new language. Does that make sense? Ahlan wa sahlan. Ahlan wa sahlan. Oh my God, wa ahlan wa sahlan. Ahlan wa sahlan. Ahlan wa sahlan. Ahlan wa sahlan. Okay. Ahlan wa sahlan. Ahlan wa sahlan. Zayi. Um. Oh, I gotta keep looking. It's so frustrating. Ana kwaisa. Inta? Ana kwaisa. Alhamdulillah. Shukran. Okay, I gotta be more polite. Alhamdulillah. Shukran. Inti fin. Ana fi Connecticut. Dilwati. Inta fin Dilwati. Dilwati. Ana fi Al Qahira. Sweet. This is amazing. Is it good? Um, it's really good. Your pronunciation is really, 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 really good. You speak several languages, so this is why. Like, got any questions? If you need anything, just drop me a line. It's already over. Yeah, I yeah. I wish we had more time. Assalamu. <laughs> Bye. Loved it. So happy. Should have done that years ago. Wow. Tofa.
Stoffa. My goal by the end of lesson one is to express myself in the very basic sense to say, I'm good, I'm not good, how are you? Which was a mission accomplished. My classes were 45 minutes. I bought a package so I would stay accountable. So I spent 130 bucks, that's nothing. It ends up being $10 an hour for private tutoring with somebody that I now consider a friend. Like I will go and visit Ahmed in Cajera. I already feel like my brain is pulsating with new information. I'm gonna spend probably an hour to an hour and a half studying. So after my 45 minute lessons, I was feeling super drained and my brain started buzzing. Your mind genuinely gets tired when you're learning a new language. What I love so much about it is that you're making mistakes, you're reverting back to your childlike state, and you realize life's not that deep. And what's so beautiful about language learning is it's one of the rare activities where you're rewarded for failing. If you make a mistake and you get corrected, you learn. And that's a good just life nugget, which is why I love learning languages. This isn't about learning languages. This is about winning at life. This is unit one of Pimsleur's Egyptian Arabic one. Listen to this Arabic conversation. لا مؤاخذة انتي بتفهمي انجليزي؟ لا يا استاذ انا ما بفهمش انجليزي. انا بفهم عربي شوية. Listen to the speaker and try to match his pronunciation. لا مؤاخذة. لا مؤاخذة. لا مؤاخذة. Excuse me in Arabic. لا مؤاخذة. لا مؤاخذة. Hey, لا مؤاخذة. لا مؤاخذة. لا مؤاخذة. Say, I don't understand English. انا ما بفهمش انجليزي. انا ما بفهمش. انا بف ب اوه ماي جاد انا ما بفهمش. Listen carefully to that first sound. عربي انا ما بفهمش. انا ما بفهمش. Don't be concerned if you haven't made every response correctly. انا ما بفهمش عربي دلوقتي. But tomorrow is a new day with new efforts. Key here is whatever I do today, notebook, writing everything down. And another interesting thing I'm gonna do is every single day I'll send Omnia Omnia, my Habibi, a voice note of what I learned. Ahlan Habibti Zayek, Ana ma bafhamsh Arabi. But really, Ana bafham Arabi Shwaye Masal Mas. Oh my god, day one is rough. Um, Love you. Ana bahabik awi. It's rough. And by day one, I realized, why didn't I do this sooner? Ahlan wa sahlan. Ana Joanna. Kwayesa. Uh, damn it. Okay, so every single morning, I'm gonna wake up and review what I learned the night before. First step is me just saying all the words that I remember, all the expressions. Ahlan wa sahlan is Zayek. Ana Kwayesa. Inta or Inti? Muntaz. Tohfa. Ana fi Connecticut. Inta. Fin Kahira and Tiptif Hamin Arabi in Tiptif Ham Arabi Na ba no na ma baf sh baf ma um sh Oh my god Ana ma baf hamsh Arabi The second part is looking at my journal and seeing what I missed, what I still need to work on. I haven't looked at these notes yet, but that's what I remember. Not bad. Not bad. I don't have any classes today, but I'm gonna do some research and just like polish up the brain and get more information because tomorrow when I do have my next Arabic class, I wanna come prepared, do some research, come with some questions. And so when you get to class, you have 45 minutes of like intense learning. So I got questions to ask. I should probably find out how to say I have questions. Yay! Learning Arabic with ease! Master the Arabic alphabet. I can't wait until these squiggly lines actually mean something. Definitely not a romance language. Another thing I'm doing is watching YouTube videos. I just typed in easy Egyptian Arabic and boom, I have a little video. <laughs> It's day three, my brain woke up, exercise the way that a brain does when a language is being injected into it. I woke up this morning at 5 a.m. with all this Arabic rushing into my mind like it's 5 a.m. <laughs> And I woke up saying Arabic words like that I learned seven years ago. Like what I know, Hamsa Taleta. I'm like, what? I have not said these words since I was in Egypt back in 2014. Something is actually happening in my brain that is reviving memories from years ago that I haven't thought of, and it's waking me up in the middle of the night. The brain defrost. It's fascinating. If you exercise it, you wake up a little sore, but it's like deserving fatigue. It's so funny, I'll be like sitting on the toilet or I'll be washing dishes or I'll just be like walking into the office and I was like, Andi, it named Like I 
remember that from when I was 22. I have a class today for 45 minutes, but it's really cool because even without class, you can learn so much. I have my Excel spreadsheet all put together. So I have things that I learned on Pimsleur that I'm asking for corrections just because I know that the dialect might not be Egyptian. And I have all of the vocab and expressions that I learned. It's only day three and I'm actually impressed that I've been learning so much Arabic, even though I'm so far away from Egypt. You guys on the internet, you're DMing me on, on social media every single day and you're keeping me in check. That's really cool. The fact that I'm making this video makes me bust out my camera and speak. We got this. We doing it. We making it work. With Arabic, what's really complex is also the alphabet. And I realized if I spend time learning the letters in the alphabet, it'll keep me away from speaking. So I learned what's called Franco-Arabic. And there are numbers associated with sounds that are only in the Arabic alphabet. And so I figured out how to get around the alphabet thing. I'm getting to it. Don't you worry. But it's how I was able to learn how to speak and write what I was hearing and make the correct sounds when I read back my notes. And it was so exciting, you guys. I'm like learning code language. It's like a math problem. My brain felt nourished. Huck. Huh? Three, which is Ayn. Then we have five, which is Tcha. 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 Okay. Ayn. Ayn. Awesome. Perfect. Yeah, it comes from down the throat, and people consider this the hardest in the alphabet. Ayn. And I feel like Americans, especially, struggle with this a lot. It has no equivalent sound in English. Ayn. Good morning. Sabah. Al Khair. So it'd be like S A B seven five. Here, correct? Woo! She is learning this code language! Tohfa <laughs> <laughs> Awi! Yalla! You're doing it! I'm doing it! Awesome! Ashufik Bokra! Ashufik Bokra! Something special that was happening too, as I was learning Arabic, I got closer to Am, and she would send me videos daily called Kelmeti Yumen Harda, like word of the day, and she would just teach me something. A really, really cool bonus here is if you have friends that speak that language, involve them in it. <laughs> means word of the word day. Of the day. Ya Amar is like a salutation for my love, baby girl, or sweetie, or whatever. But in this case, Ya Amar literally means the moon. Sahbeti el antim. Sahbeti el antim. This is just so good. I'm so happy I'm doing this. Mashallah. Shukran ya Amar. These daily videos keep me in check. Okay, so uh, it's 9 p.m. at night and I just finished reading this Nat Geo magazine about memory. A few things that I took away. Memory is something that you need to practice with and learning languages helps you improve your memory. There are things that you could do to improve your memory like foods that you eat. Dark chocolate's one of them. Caffeine consumption when you're learning. I always drink coffee during my lessons but two important things that I'm gonna think about today it's sleep when you sleep your brain is essentially creating like a washing machine your neurons deflate a little bit leaving space between them and if you get good sleep it like categorizes everything that you learned which is why last night I woke up in the middle of the night seven years ago just came back like a flash how can we keep so much in our brain dormant and then it just takes a little bit of motivation to encourage it to come out that's your brain. So sleep is critical and also spacing out your study sessions so that you can test your brain to see what you actually remembered. So I'm purposely not gonna study or review anything tonight and see how much I remember tomorrow. I don't wanna overdo it because if you overdo it, it's not actually retaining, it's just regurgitating. And we're, we're trying to retain here. This is gonna be like a five hour documentary special. Josephine is going to bed. Sabah al khir, Sabah al khir. Sabah al khir. Ah, there it is. Okay, you could tell I'm tired because I haven't done my bed. Sabah al khir. It's day. Uh, it's day four. <laughs> it's rough. So, what I'm thinking is I made a mistake not reviewing yesterday. I didn't review, and so I woke up this morning at five in the morning saying all the words that I've learned, but I didn't learn any new words from yesterday. So now we know. You can't be slipping up on the revision process, Joanna Franco. And something else that I wanna say, it's like when you schedule out classes, it keeps you accountable. It's an investment that's gonna get me out of bed. Cause if it was free, she wouldn't be getting out of bed for it. You know what I'm saying? I'll be cheap to the end. You can tell I'm tired when I'm wearing a beanie inside my own house. Sabah al-khir, sabah al-khir, kurtanam, yali-e, sah, 
Yo más camino. Yo más camino. Ok. Ahlan wa sahlan. Ahlan wa sahlan. Sabah el khir. Sabah el... Sabah. El khir. Sabah 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 el khir. Isaik? أنا كويس الحمد لله، أنتِ إزيك؟ أنا كويس عوي الحمد لله شكراً. آه أنا تابينا شوية. آه ألف سلامة. ألف سلامة. بالقهوة؟ بالقهوة، قهوة. I will feel better. إزاي تقول hold on؟ استنى. 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 واو أنا بتعلم بتعلم أكثر النهاردة. My brain is pulsating with information. Remember how we started this four days ago and this journal was empty? Now, we're almost halfway done. This is how I know it's working. This is really amazing. You're learning too fast and this is really, really great. Just keep it up. The Guinean. I'm going for a run. Also, I read in my memory magazine that running or cardio creates new neurons in your brain that helps you remember things. So I'm going to do my 30 minutes of Pimsleur, 30 minutes of cardio. Yalla bina. This is unit three of Pimsleur's Egyptian Arabic one. Say, I understand Arabic a little. I'm going to now practice distinguishing between the masculine and feminine forms. Say American oh to a man. Amriki. Sabah al khir, everybody. Akhwa time. Okay, so it's day five. It's Yum Hamsa. I know how to say day and I know how to say five. Now, ask me how to say it's day five and I'm a guess. Da Yum Hamsa? And it's probably wrong. So this morning I was in bed and I realized that in the morning, even if I didn't sleep a lot, my brain goes through this process of remembering every single word from the night before. So it's confirmed. Revision at night for 45 minutes before bed is ideal because you wake up fresh with it in your head and your mind has had the time to kind of sort out the information because lord knows this memory is getting bad sabah al khir isme joana ana kwayesa awi in harda ashan ana mabsuta ana batkalam shwaya arabi dirwati i'm gonna be starting the alphabet this first week was all about conversation and really just grasping the sounds and now that i have a grasp on the sounds and i know how to write with the franco arabic alphabet love that name because my last name is franco i also learned with the numbers sound like. Now I can actually learn what the letters look like and sound like and spell. Oh, it's from right to left. I know it's gonna be hard when I'm on Alif and it's just a straight line and I'm finding this hard. There are like three different ways that a letter in Arabic is written. The beginning, the middle, and the end. They all look a little bit different. So it's like you're learning 28 letters times three. I just created a fictional person in my life called Tim. And Tim is a happy, silly dude. Cause these all look like cute little silly faces. I'm so curious if I'll get smarter in other areas of my life after this, because it's so hard to learn this language. I just, I'm frustrated because I'm like, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. It's in my mind, but not as much as I want. I'm going to get there. Hello, Ahlan, 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 Sabah al khir. Sabah al nur Zayka Jo. أنا كويسة أوي شكرا إزاي تقول it is day five ده اليوم الخامس إزاي تقول everyone for example wait مس مسالان is مسالان like for example أي أيوة صح داجينان 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 what just what was the last part داجينان what فعلا like فعلا I like that way you learn is so awesome why because you keep adding like blocks, you know, building it in your head. This is impressive. I always learn like this. It's not really a method I've ever seen. I ask a lot of questions. We still have but 15 like sessions. <laughs> I'm so excited. For me, this is really impressive. The progress that you're making, we just met like four days ago. Like, you know, so what you're doing is really, you know, mind blowing. Baguette. This is amazing. Baguette, do a lot. Ana Isa Ashrab Akhwa. Ashen. Ana Mekasila. Aoi. This is mind blowing, seriously. I swear this is no joke. Really, this is mind blowing. The accent is perfect. You know, Egyptians are gonna be watching and their mind is gonna be. You no, know, this is someone who started like five days ago. Five days ago. Enta modares shotar awi. Gedan. Enti taliba shot awi. Shakran. Oh my god, she is tired. 
So my schedule was one 45 minute class a day with Ahmed, 30 minutes of Pimsleur at night, and reviewing alone and talking to myself. Oh, there was a lot of talking to myself. Mabruk, Joanna. Anna and Wahida, Hena, Bas, Bakale Marabi Nafsi. Ano ko yung sawi? Mafish mishkila. Ay zat kalle Marabi level. I didn't spend more than two hours every day learning, and it really did make my day so much better. I zat kalle Marabi kolyum. You realize how little you know, and it just like puts you into perspective. It makes you feel like that tiny little grain of rice in a pot of rice. <laughs> Wow, I gotta come up with some new analogies. Halas, that's it. Thank you so much. Shukran, awi, awi, awi. I am so excited to continue this journey. Hazur mas oraib, and when I go, hatka le marabi leb leb. I promise. This is a promise. Now I gotta do it, cause now I just promised you. This shirt's a little hot arm. <laughs> gotta close that up. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I've been posting my updates there. And if I do accomplish this, which I will, it's gonna be the first language that I've documented from start to finish 100%. And then after this, who knows? Maybe I learn Japanese, maybe I learn Croatian, maybe I finish learning Greek. Once you learn how to learn, you can learn anything and everything. Hey, yo, come listen to my girl, man. What you doing? Shit.